So I was previously on the sports science course in college. I really enjoyed that course and I wanted to just further my education onto this course and I knew there was quite similar elements and just to further my knowledge through sports science. Well, I've been here since level three, um, doing the sports performance and excellence course, uh, along with playing the academy as well. And this was just the next step up really in terms of my development in the sports sort of field. So I thought here would be the best. I was already comfortable here. The tutors were all great, I know them all. So yeah, I just felt like it was sort of the best best place for me to go. We have quite a lot of different modules which is really interesting and that's kind of why I was drawn to the course so there's like there's obviously elements of like coaching but then there's also like psychology so you get to see the psychology behind performance as well as just you know nutrition which would help performance and then the coaching element of it and we also have an employment based part of it all so that's where we get guidance for getting our um, experience outside of the college. I like the facilities because in the UCCL they let you like take laptops out. Uh, you've got numerous computers that are there, so you can sort of just like knuckle down and get on with your work. The tutors are great as well. Like it's quite a tight knit sort of uh, group. All the classrooms are quite they're relatively small in comparison to other like lecture halls and stuff. You'll see. Part of my employment-based learning is that we have the opportunity to go and gain 50 hours for this course, which is where you can go and help out. Um, so I'm currently volunteering at a primary school, so I go there on a Friday afternoon and I help out with their um, like PE lessons and that's really like a good experience for me. With this course, sports science or sports coaching, it's quite a broad one. So with the, with the degree you get, you can go off in different pathways, maybe do my PGCE, and maybe become like a PE teacher uh, or you know a college tutor for example. That's sort of the pathway I'm leaning towards but then again like I say there is quite a broad spectrum. Be organised so when an assignment's set just maybe get it started and plan how much time you'll need to give for that assignment and if you have any worries or need help on anything definitely go to the tutors they're always wanting to help and they're there to guide you. My advice would be to definitely go for it here because you know, I don't think you're going to find a place you'll enjoy more, to be fair.